hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is as graphics in this particular tutorial i'll be teaching you about snapseed we're working you one by one i'll be showing you every tools the function of every tools in snapseed so so the starting from the open button to the list one let's just get started so we're making it um video bit by bit i don't make it too long and i'll also be doing a compilation we'll make all the videos together so let's get about this so this is um let me make my tabs visible okay so because you're not seeing what I'm actually working on now so I just want to whenever I'm just tapping on my videos see you know having this option so you just need to be a developer so let's for this one this is the settings now this how to check the change the team of my snapseed now if you want to either resize your image when you are done editing so this you can actually set it by this to this one they are all in pixels you probably the image you you done working with is probably about 4 15 megabytes or they depend on the kind of the, the size in pixels so snaps you can just help you to adjust the pixel size automatically if you set it but i'm not setting my i'm using it do not resize so the format quality if you want it to be in png you can use png but i'm using jpeg 100 percent so that's for this setting now for this particular one and this one let me bring so this option this open here and this plus icon work the same and like let me just go back when i click on this plus icon she still brought me here when i click on open it brought me here so i'll be bringing in an image let me use this one so see these options have appeared and there are some other options here that have appeared here so be coming to that one in a bit so this is image details it's telling you when this image was edited so this photo vapor start working on it this is the name of the photo now this this other option this is for undo this is to redo an action now this revert what it does is okay let me just apply one of these looks let me now ascend to it will be better you're gonna see the saturation and everything is gonna pop out you can see see how it's looking cool when i click on ok please do make sure you click on ok and i come to revert this option and i click on revert all this because when you look at it this is view edit it's showing you all the effects that we applied so if i click on revert all this effect is going to disappear are you sure all the changes will be lost tap revert to revert to its original state you can see when i come back here view edit no edit again all those filters have disappeared so i can just come back to ascend to it and apply all of them you can see and if you want to check the bit when you maybe you're working on a project you want to see how far you've gone the before and after just hold on the screen just long press on the screen for some times just hold the screen and leave it when you leave it it's going to give you the present state when you hold on it it's going to give you the past editing so so this is undo to do an action redo you can see reduce to bring back what you do you've done so let's just come to cure scan probably you have an edit an editing you you a, a trick you saw from someone or probably um, 
like all these filters you've applied you can actually share your filter effect with somebody that's what it is maybe a friend who is good in there and editing in, in snapseed in, in his phone you can just idly just go there and create snap the effect when you snap is actually automatically going to copy effects from you so now now this is tutorials is going to take you directly to youtube their youtube channel where you can get their tutorials now help and feedback i don't want to use that one please still maybe you have it's crashed and you want to send help and also feedback so this option here when you come to view edit now it has some function here so this look at this i can copy all this all this effect let me look at copy let me just come to revert revert okay now when you come here you see those effects are no longer there but since i copied it already i can now come and insert it you can see they all appeared back so you can cover a preset from probably an old video or picture and come and paste it back here so that's for that so you can see there are so many options that we used on this the cover adjustment was used details was used tune image was used edge address keep was used now if i click on this tune image what is going to happen you can see the other one we are not alighted are kind of dark so those effects are no longer effective here now the sad thing about snapseed is that you can't switch the f between effects maybe like a layers panel they only show you all the effect that we applied that you are not able to move them okay so and if i click here this curve is not working when i click here it's only this one these two are no longer there these filters are no longer there it's only this one that is there now and working okay so that's for this one when you click on this one shows you that this effect is actually taking place but these remaining ones are no longer there even though so for it to become um come back working for this effect to also take part in your design you have to come back and click on it if not, you just want to see that the effect are no longer there even though maybe you just by mis you just left it by mistake and see those effects are no longer there you just need to come back to view edit and click back on it okay so um let's still go back to view edit and work on those effects uh, explain some other things for example maybe you're working on a project and you edited something you applied this thing to it so you can come here look at click on this arrow that is here this particular option shows you that you can actually apply come back and make a correction you can see by in another video or in this current video you see i'm going to apply this i'm going to explain to you how to use this cover adjustment panel so you, this is for the white point this is for the dark point this is for the highlight this is for the shadows maybe you just increase the highlight a bit so you can just come here maybe you don't like the way the highlight is you want to increase it again and you already set this thing you just come here and come and increase it a bit if you want to re reduce the shadows you can see now this is how i just boost this saturation with the curve adjustment panel all right so that's that for that now i think this image is actually looking cool 
so i want to bring it under image and this one thing you to know if you come here and bring in see all this one is going to go with all the effects it's going to go now so now look at this you want to this other one for replace when you replace it you must have probably copied um a preset let me bring in another image i can either bring in image of a lady or anybody's image i can even use a design because i use it for my pixel lab design when i'm done using a pixel lab to just boost so look at it i can okay now insert you're just gonna notice how it's gonna make my flyer look like now the saturation is too much so what i just said i'll come to tune image if i know there is when you're using a sense with the more there's more saturation on i'll come here because i want to edit the saturation so when i cut you can see the saturation is in 34 so i just reduce it a bit and i come back and click on this so you're gonna see you're seeing how when i hold on it on the screen and i released it you see how the, the effect that's taking place on your design now let me still come back here now this insert probably you have a copied preset you want to copy now you know we, okay we already have one here look at let me copy this one and i click on insert you can, you can see it just added to it it's added to it those the, the ones i just copied the effect added was added on this one if i come here and replace now if i click on this card everything is going to disappear okay let's just say replace you can see i replaced all those effects with the one i, I copied just those five so regardless of any amount you have in once you click on replace you're going to replace the current effect with the one you copied before so i come to discard changes discard changes is going to be the effect i just added everything i'm just going to disappear all right so i've explained this one now this is if you want to this delete works if you want to delete this particular effect all of this but you know you cannot actually move switch between these layers you can just come here and delete this okay you can delete any of these effects maybe you want to delete the image you can see you can you can actually move these layers down maybe you want to delete one but you can actually just come and click on it so let me just bring this back in now remain this other one so this is where the magic is i actually use this one so that you can actually see the effect when i click on this one it's going to make me like select the area i want the effect to take place let me explain for example look at this one is going to make me you now we apply some effect using the curve let me, let me just make the curve obvious let me increase the saturation the highlights reduce the shadows so it's going to boost the saturation so you can see the effects now what i'm going to do is that also look at the text this is before and after so i'm just going to come here come to this other side and the place i'm going to mark now this is going to see i'm going to be using my hand to be brushing on the 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 canvas my screen you can see this is going to make it visible the brush as i'm moving my hand you really want to turn it on you're going to make it visible but sometimes you see what you are doing but there are times when you when you're gotten used to snap seed you just be seeing where you are walking on 
you see where you're actually working on um, for and without this for example let me see if i've turned it on you see you look at before this thing is going to make, when you click on it, it's going to make you before and after before and after <coughs> before and after so but when you now move your hand notice the saturation of that side is coming up look at i'm moving the screen the face you can see the saturation is coming up but when i now click on this it shows you yes i've ticked there look at i've ticked everywhere now so how do i remove you can see i've applied the saturation to everywhere so okay i now want to remove that on the face all i just need to do is reduce this when i reduce it it's going to turn to erase automatically so i just paint here let me remove that on the neck when i click so this is making me helping me to see when i now click on this check mark look at how it was before you can see it has removed so but the effect is still outside the canvas but on the face of the lady is no longer there okay so now this is for invert this is just for check mark to tell that okay i'm done with what i'm doing when you click on this whether you like it or not the even the preset is not going to save now this let's bring in our red bag now this inverts here probably the image is little and you don't want to take what you want to apply just little you don't want to maybe just select you know you don't want to save your not save yourself the stress of marking outside all you can just do is just um come here click on just mark the, the face let me just okay let me let me delete this so you can just come here and your target is outside so let me just now this is the strength of this saturation you can see if I, if I use 25 it's just it's going to apply you is because I'm, I'm using red you're going to apply you but it's not going to be too much compared to when I use 100 so I see you're using the effect but in a reduced way we want to help you reduce it okay now look at let me erase it I, I took it to zero to, in order to erase it so I check this one so that I'll be able to see or oh, let me just get rid of it now let me just put it in 100 so the effects will just spread faster so I'm just going to come here and paint around the face okay and the neck now my target is let me choose select the, the lady's clothes so now see I didn't but when I click on this check mark I'm going to show you where I select okay so this is how it happened but my target is outside the lady but when I check here, it was inside the lady I move. But I just want to save my stress of moving aside. All I just did is click on invert. So the effect is no longer going to take place. So I need to now move it to 100. The effect is no longer going to take place. The effect is no longer going to take place on the lady's skin. Okay, when I click on this check mark, you see the effect the outside see look at this is for details but the effect for this curve is just outside it's not on the lady's face if i want it to be on the lady's face i'll just click on invert you can, okay look at the way i zoom all i just need to just take my two fingers and tap on the screen just move you can see the two the dot icon just move on the screen now it, i'm just going to increase put it in 100 i it just the reason i zoomed it because i'll see 
that allow me to just to paint in small areas okay okay so they're gonna allow me to paint in small areas all right so i'm going to add the you're going to make me see the effect that i just applied so notice those effects are not outside they are just on the face because that's where i selected i want that effect to be all right so i just hope you understand this particular section of this is there any other thing I've... okay so let's just go outside now this i will explain now i was thinking of explaining a new other video but let's just explain it now now these are save down presets on pixel lab where you can use you know you've already okay what we did was ascend to it we just came here to, we can still come here and save that one but there's no need of you coming to save this preset it is already here maybe you made an adjustment on that ascent tree that you love you can come down here to save it or you just need to click plus so save this my look you just name it the name you want actually i haven't saved any preset on my own because i've just been making use of the one time because I, I can actually use it is saving your preset is going to save you a lot of stress you're going to save you a lot of stress so let's just save this one my look so this option maybe i want to edit the rename or if i want to so all i just need for example let me come to revert if that's going to take away all the effect away so when i come to my look so i'll just click on this check mark to apply it so let me come here and delete the effect is still there but my look is no longer there so now, now i told you these are laid down presets on snapseed so let me revert okay so i'll click on last edit it's going to tell me it automatically saved my previous edit i used on this particular snapseed and i told you when you i showed you that when you bring in an image automatically lost your presets your your last the last presets used the design the design the presets on your image so when i come to last edit i use on that ladies first so you can the because of the highlights that i marked on the face let's just see come here view edit greeny okay it is greeny film why is greeny film twice so i don't want to use this but anyway it's going to make you save you're going to save your defects you use or i would have loved to use ascent to it no use the last time we used this cell i brought out everything the old details so i'll just come here and use this now so it's going to save the effects you use last okay now the greeny feel you know when i i did all this was i i did not export i did not export so that was not actually that was what i used it was not the setting i used on my image now that effect which i apply you can see let me use let me okay let me just come here and revert i click on last edit now this is the current state of the image this last edit i click on this check mark this was the filters i applied on a particular design i did so that's why they, they are here not what i selected what i saved here 
uh, the particular I, I used on a particular design I did and let me just show you the design so this was it I created it in pixel lab so I just use it here on snapseed just to boost the color now when you look when you, when you this is before this is after just I brought brought the colors out a bit so that's why that is like that so these are presets you can use you can come here let me bring in back those that image portrait works better if you're having probably a model or a, a working on a lady it's just it work on the skin or the face of the lady now this particular preset this saved preset already now when you click on smooth all right so when i click on portrait it's not going to give me very very good effect look at it now this is the current date now this is the portrait this is not good because it was best when you're having a model around okay let me bring in this let me now not the the face of the model now the face is naturally that clear okay let me bring in this when i come in and i bring in portraits now is a preset that actually work on the face so this is before this is after now the preset works only majorly on the face here yeah, expression the smile we talk about that particular setting in a, in, a, in, a, in a minute probably one of the videos now this is smooth now i didn't click on this check mark i'm just showing the preset so this is pop these are you can just play around them choose the one that this save down prince this preset that you want you can just choose the one you want come to ascend to it i use them on my designs maybe i use pixel app to design or i use i want to work on an image so fade and glow so you can just come here and choose look at any one you want but i'll just maybe just stick with this ascend to it now this is export if you want to share your image once you click on share that you want to share it with someone it saves automatically because you have to save it first before you want to share so this is save now your image say always saves as a jpeg you save always save as a jpeg even though when you go to rename it to png if you work on a transparent any image that transparent it's still going to save give it create background for the, that transparent image that is certain about um about snapseed now this export as you'll be exporting to a particular folder now so i don't want this now export create a copy of your photo size maybe you just want to export it it's still going to save okay i guess that is all i have for you in this particular video so you can just come here and play around it pick the preset you want so we'll talk about the tools in another video all right so that's all for this particular one see you in the next video